All right, welcome back. This video is a part two on my dry bagger. A couple of people are making these and they're coming to me with questions on how to wire in the, the run switch and how to wire up the switches for the pneumatic switches, these two guys right there. Now this will work for any knife valve assembly um, pneumatic bagger. It doesn't have to be the PVC one. It could also be, this is my prototype. It, it's also the same for a steel one or whatever homemade knife valve assemblies. It is still a work in progress. I'm working on getting these manufactured by a company with a water jet table. So they'll be like super precise. So more to come on that once it's complete. So with this, um, the number one question I have is how to wire in to the board. So you can see there's actually, it, it's called C14. See if I can, C14. There's two little bumps to the right of it. That's where the wires have to go to. Here's a good picture. Okay, so C14, and there's two, two little posts that have a little bit of solder on them. You're going to want to put a little bit of extra solder on them and then tin some wires up. Tin some wires up that are just stripped back a little bit and then throw them on there. I actually found it's better to also put a little bit of hot glue or RTV around it because they like to wiggle loose. Um, for wiring the power in, you have your inverter, your DC power supply, okay, and you're going to use one of the small uh, gland nuts or cable nuts, whatever they're called, strip it back, and then that goes to the, the wires that go right there. Sorry for the shaky camera, but uh, those these two right here with the, the double pole plug, that's your power supply. Okay, and then for the run button, that is going to get wired to this. Okay, and this is the one that turns on at 40. Okay, so this one turns on at like 10 or like 13 or something like that. So this one, what it's going to do is it's going to open up the circuit that goes to the solenoid valve. And then what that's going to do is stop, uh, <coughs> that'll stop the, that'll stop the silo, the water silo on the side from filling as the dump valve is open. It won't start filling until the knife valve closes. So what that wire does is it has these two yellow wires right here. Hang on, there's two yellow wires that are up there. See those two right there that are together on the same plug? So those power the, the solenoid valve and that's basically a switch. It's a water switch is what it is. Um, so one of the wires goes through as it's supposed to be but one of the other wires goes to the, the C, which is common, and then the NC, which is normally closed, which means that when there's no pressure, this thing is closed. So it's not until that you hit the foot pedal, it'll open the circuit up, not let this thing turn on. This will hit the run button, and then once you let go of the pedal, it'll complete this circuit, allowing the water to flow. So if it's operating correctly, you should hear a beep as soon as you hit the pedal, but no water should flow until you let go of the pedal. Uh, when the knife valve closes. Um, another person was asking how to run the pneumatics. It's pretty basic. You have, there's uh, three ports. Oh, this is actually the one that you guys are using probably if it, you bought it off my kit. And it's your N and then your A and your B. Okay, you can see the left one has A marked on it and the B is on the right. So B is normally pressurized. A is the one that gets actuated. Um, so your A, is gonna come up, okay, and the A is the one that's gonna be holding these shut, or I'm sorry, it's gonna open them up. Uh, so the A is gonna come up, here's the A one right here, it's gonna go to a T, all right, and then it's gonna go to the front of this one, to the front of this one, okay, and then it's also gonna have a T coming off of it that goes to the, to the meter itself, okay, with a splitter, so that way it can go to each one. Um, and then it's going to go up and to the back of the top one. So it's holding the, the back one is going to be um, opened and then it'll shut it as the bottom ones open up and dump. Uh, on the inverse, the other one is going to come up. This is going to be your B. This is going to be the one that's holding it shut. That's usually pressurized at a resting state. So it's going to come up, come to the back of this one, tee off, go to the back of the other bottom valve, and then go up here and go to the front 
of the top valve. So that'll hold the top one open when the pedal is not being pressed. So that should get all the wiring down that you need. If you're not doing the water silo on the side, all or like if you're doing say the this one, the um, this is my spawn bagger and it just has a water meter, you can see. It just has a water meter that just squirts water in. So the downside of this one is I have to stand there for about five to 15 seconds as the water shoots into the bag and it meters it directly into the bag. Whereas this one, it dumps it all at once and then I can go, go ahead and fold and load the bag as the silo recharges over the course of 10 to 15 seconds. Um, so if you're doing it like that, where it's just two knife valves and the water meter, no side valve, no side silo, um, you wouldn't need this. All you need is this one hooked up to the run button and that's it, you're done. Um, so hopefully that helped out with anybody who's looking at building these. And uh, if you need any support, uh, let me know. If you bought the parts off Kit, thanks a lot for your support. Kit.com, I'll put the link below for the parts on this. And um, thank you for your support. Thanks for watching my channel. And have a good one. Take it easy.